Hello class. Today I'm going to show you how to use ANSYS and a little bit about basics of drawing different shapes and doing basic analysis. Let's start by opening ANSYS. ANSYS 18 is here. This is currently installed in our computers. There are a lot of icons here but the one we are looking for is Workbench 18.2. OK. As you can see here, we have different analysis systems which we can use. For fluid mechanics, CFD, as you can see, fluid flow, different types, and for structural analysis or mechanical analysis. Uh, we have license for mechanical analysis, so the one we are going to use today would be status, static structure. We can double click to get this, or let me delete this. or drag it to create an analyzer. The first thing ANSYS is going to ask us is putting a name for it. Let's decide this name for our first workshop. This analysis, as you can see, has different sections. Starting with engineering data, Geometry, model, setup, solution, and results. The first thing is selecting which material we need to have in our study. Structural steel is the default material for ANSYS. By clicking over structural steel, you can see all the properties down this section Young modulus, density, shear modulus, everything is here. If you need to add other materials and you want to have available during this research or study, you need to, you can select from engineering data source. And uh, ANSYS have extensive reference material for you to select or you can even create a new material for yourself. Let's select general materials. As you can see here, we have air, aluminum, copper, silicon, titanium alloy, many, many other materials. Mm, I want to add aluminum alloy to our investigation. By clicking that pl this plus, I added this to the, my list. This book is showing that this material is in my uh, list. Let's close this. Now you can see beside uh, structural steel, I have aluminum alloy too. And by clicking over aluminum, you can see other properties for this. We are done with this. Let's go back to the project. The second section would be geometry. Let's double click over geometry to open this section. Okay, if you are like me, which used to work with the older version of ANSYS, you can see drawing section or modeling section is totally different. Nowadays, they call it space claim, as you can see here. And they try, ANSYS uh, company tries to simplify drawing uh, procedure for ANSYS. As you can see here, let's describe how many sections we have here. The first part is top part, which we call it quick access toolbar. Undo, redo, saving, opening, those kind of things. The second part would be this area, toolbar ribbon, which includes insert, design, major, repair, many, many other, which we are going to gradually use them 
in case we need. Then we can have structural panel. When you draw a, uh, an object, you are going to have a tree of that object here. And the other part would be option panel. Depends on tool you are selecting, this optional panel, option panel is going to change. And finally, properties panel. And down here, we, are, we have status panel. And finally, this part is the graphic window which we can draw anything we want. Okay. Let's see what we have here. The, the first thing you need to know is at designing part, we have three modes, sketch mode, selection mode, and 3D mode. Let's start with a sketch. I want to draw in XY axis. So by selecting the, this XY axis, I can select the whole, that surface to draw. As by moving this part, I can select YZ or XZ. Let's go for x, y. And I want to be normal to this axis. OK. This icon shows line, rectangle, circle, and many, many others like SOLIDWORKS. Let's start with rectangle. Automatically, it shows you the dimensions. Point two meter for this one, for the length 0.5 meter. I can use my mouse screw to, to zoom in or zoom out, or this pan to, to push it and take and bring it to the center of my uh, window, drawing window. What else I need? I want to have a hole here. Let's have it here. Dimension mm, 100 millimeter diameter is diameter of this circle. I also want to have two cuts, this part and this part. Why? Because I want to create stress concentration area. Our analysis would be interesting. Let's add one here. Again, 100 millimeter here. Another one down here, 100 millimeter. Mm. Okay, as you can see, these part of circle and this part of the our rectangle is unnecessary, and we need to get rid of it. We can use trim tool to easily clean this part, delete this part, this one and this one, this part and this part. Beautiful. Now we need to give a depth to our sketch and have a 3D model. I'm going to select this pool. And when my mouse is going over our sketch, you can see this arrow. Drag this arrow. Mm, let's have it 30 millimeter depth. Okay. By selecting pool, as you, you can see, we have different options here. Add, cut, no merge, and some other options. Let's see what is the meaning of add and, add and cut. They are similar to cut, extrude, and extruding in SOLIDWORKS. Let's investigate this one. 
I want to draw a, another circle here and create a hole. This time it is going to be 50 millimeter. Click pull. This time I want because I want to have a cut or hole there. So I select this cut over this section. I can drag down to create a hole. Oh. Let's see, if I select this edge, what is going to happen? The option part, we have some other tools activated. Round, chamfer, extrude edge, copy edge, and so on. Let's go for the round. If you drag this, select this, um, edge and drag at the direction of the this arrow you can have round let's go with 8 millimeter now let's select the other edge this time chamfer Mm, again, 8 millimeter. If you want to select one edge, you can select click once. If you want to select edge around here, all of them, you can select twice. By clicking twice, you, I selected all these edges. Let's go for this edge. Once I clicked, I selected this one. Double click this one. Triple click the other one because ANSYS doesn't know if you want to select all the edge this side or that side so it is going to select with triple clicks okay this is enough for our drawing let's close this and go back to our uh, analysis now it's time for model we double click to open the model section. I just saw something. Uh, this surface which we don't need so I'm going back to the geometry to delete that surface which is not part of our geometry where is it here I'm deleting that surface close now Refresh. And open the model. It takes a little bit time to import the model because this section is going to uh, 
uh, do the main job of the analysis, which is adding material, meshing our 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 three D model model, applying restriction and loads, and solving it. Okay, let's first check the geometry, select our solid. And as you can see, the material, we, ha we have definition of the, of the material and our solid. But for the material section, this is the default material. And as you, if you remember, I added aluminum alloy to my list, which we can see here. I'm going to select aluminum for this case. Let's use the default mesh. So I'm not improving the quality of mesh because we know that close to, if we had uh, fixed support at this area, around these two cuts, we are going to have a stress concentration. So maybe the mesh quality should be much finer and higher around this area. But for now, we are okay with it. Okay, let's add our restriction. Support here, we need fixed support. And I want to add load here, pressure, normal to, and I want to have Two Pascal. Let's go for higher pressure, hundred Pascal. What type of solution I need? By selecting the solution, you can see different tools here. Total deformation would be good. Equivalent. Strain one misses and stress one misses stress. Now by clicking solve we can solve this problem. Okay. As we expected, close to this area we have stress concentration and the highest stress would be at this area around 5,000 Pascal. Nothing serious close to this hole, but these two cards have the highest stress concentration. What about deformation? Yeah, as we expected, the furthest from the fixed support should have most deformation. As we can see, the red part here and strain similar to the stress part we, as we expected close to the cutting edge we have more stress you can have a print preview of this result it's a beautiful picture you can print it save it whatever you want or create a report And this can automatically create a report here. Which includes all the information about model, material, and a lot more. Now it's time to save the project. And we are done. Thank you.